Okay. Hope everyone is able to see my screen, right? Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay. So, as I told you, the impact and urgency will be will determine your priority. So, what is a priority? As I earlier told you, for each and every priority, there will be a SLA. For PM P1, it will be three hours. I'm just giving an example. P2, it will be six hours. And P3, it will be like one or two days. And P4, usually it will be for a week. Okay. And then they will assign it to assignment group. So once they assign it to assignment group, then it will come to our team. Our team leaders or managers will decide to whom it is. Uh, it will be assigned to. Okay, the assigned to will be uh, to your queue. If it is assigned to you, it will come to your queue. And here, if you see short description, wherein they would have given. This is nothing but a subject line of your email, right? If you have seen your subject line of your email, wherein we would have given a short description there. That's the same thing uh, here, and also. The entire description of the issue will be uh, provided in this uh, below column in description. And also, if you see this uh, paper clip icon, right? So there you can uh, attach the file. If uh, you have uh, any posting error, you can update there. You can attach the file. Okay, this is how you uh, you are going to create a real time ticket. Actually, um, I had a issue with. Uh, uh, service no application, or else I would have uh, shown you in a live uh, class uh, how it is created. Uh, it is not working in this PDF which I have provided. Right, you have a trial version wherein you can uh, log into service now and you can uh, create a ticket for uh, uh, your training purpose. Okay, if you have any questions on this, you can ask me. Gandharu, hello. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, how, uh, when end user uh, raising this ticket, how how can they mm -hmm. people are, it is related to high priority or low priority? So how they identify any proper guidelines to them or uh, how to decide? Yes. Yes. Correct, correct. So if uh, the issue is for entire department, right? Then that comes under P P1. If uh, the issue is for like a uh, few users, then it will come under P2 and P3. Okay, in case of uh, P4, it will be for only one user. So this is how it will be determined. And also there are some uh, postings, okay, when you are doing it uh, at a month end. So you have to close that within the month end only. You should not carry the postings to the next month. At that time, they will create P1 or P2 ticket. Why? Because uh, they want uh, the resolution immediately. If they are moving that to the next month, then that is a compliance issue. So that's how uh, the priority will be determined. Any more questions you have? Okay. If no questions, we'll uh, move to a new topic called as uh, change request. This is very important. Change request is a bit different, right? Okay. Let us go to change request. Kandas, uh, are you able to see the chat box? Yeah, I'm able to see the chat box. Uh, yeah, actually, people are also putting up their questions. They they are not asking. Okay. okay. Uh, priority based on uh, transaction. Priority is based on transaction and uh, how many users are impacted. Someone has asked me a question like priority based on client purpose or transaction related. So it will be on the transaction and how many users it is impacting and also whether it is impacting your month end activity okay so that is how uh, the priority will be determined
Okay, now let us go to change a question. Second. Okay. Uh, we come to the change request here. Okay, so what is the change request? Okay, let me give you an easy example so that you will understand what is a change request. Okay, so can anyone tell me whenever you assign a company code, right? On what basis you assign a company code? Can anyone tell me if you know on what basis we assign a company code? Anyone can tell me on in, in an organization structure, okay? On what basis uh, we assign the company codes? Anyone can answer. If you don't know also, it is fine. Not an issue, but you can give an uh, attempt. Okay, I got an answer like a financial perspective with yes. in, uh, company quotes. Okay, you are close to that. Yeah, go ahead. Someone else uh, was answering. Go ahead. To know the balance sheet of the voucher must. No, no, no. Uh, that is right. But on what basis company code will be? As in, you, you, when you are creating an organization structure, right? First will be your company and then will be your company code. So this company code will be on what basis? There should be some reason you are creating a company code, right? What is the reason for? For accounting purpose. Accounting purpose. Uh, it, it means uh, it is a corporate, right? So uh, we have a one company, different... Uh, Subsidies is there. So, in that case, each subsidy is having an identification purpose. Correct. So, this is the answer I was expecting. Like, they'll have a different entities, as he said. So, based on the entities, uh, it will be considered as a company code. A uh, very good example, if you take uh, if you take a bank, right? SBI will have various branches. So all the branch will be treated as a separate entities and uh, they will be given a company code, right? So every time uh, the branch will not stay in the same position. It will not uh, stay in the same address. So every time, uh, like one or two years or like 10 years down the line, the company might change. Whenever the company is changing, uh, the company's address is changing, right? The branch address is changing. They request a FI consultant to change the address in company code. Okay, this we call it as change request. Why change is required in company code? Because many of the correspondence which uh, organization is sending, right? That will be picked up from the company code. If the address is wrong in the company code, that means that is a statutory issue right and a compliance issue so always whenever uh, the organization is uh, sending the correspondence they have to send it with the right address okay every time uh, the brand changes its address then we'll have to change the address in the company code so we'll get a change request for that and we'll implement the changes can we do that directly on production system no we can't do that there is a change management procedure that we follow. I'll tell you how the change management procedure works. Okay. Firstly, you'll have a development server. Okay. In development server, you will make the changes, whatever they have asked. And then you will prepare a FUT. FUT is nothing but functional unit testing where you will do the small testing and you will say everything is correct. Once you feel everything is correct, then you are going to move it to quality. Okay. Who will move from product development to quality? That, that is basis team. Basis team is the one 
who handles all the servers okay once it goes to quality in quality what happens in quality there will be software testers okay they will perform software testing and see if there is any bug right okay if they feel there is no bug or there is no issues in the changes whatever you have made then uh, they will move it to and uh, then it will be moved to pre production server okay so what is a pre production server pre production server is a server uh, designed uh, to do, do a uat testing what is a uat testing user acceptance testing is nothing but the testing performed by the end user okay end user will provide the confirmation that you can move the changes to the production and this production will be moved by a team called change management team after getting all the approvals then only it will be moved any small changes like this address changes will be usually moved on normal days any major changes wherein you have to shut down the system right those changes will not be moved on the production day usually it will be moved on every saturday or sunday wherein the production is very less and or minimal so on that day it will be moved okay this is how a change management works okay there could be as simple as uh, this one uh, sort key change that will be also change request but if whenever you get a change request right you are not supposed to do it on production you always have to go through the change management procedure that is from development to quality quality to pre production pre production to production this is how it has to move and to move there you have to get all the approvals from all the business sets and uh, from your managers only then it has to move any queries in a change request if you did not understand you can ask me I have a question. Ah, uh, sorry. Go ahead. So, ticket moves to ID department uh, only after getting the all, all approval, right? Or is it like yeah. after process? No, 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 no. After uh, this one, right? After we are making the changes, then only approval will come in place. Anyone can create a ticket, but uh, uh, the ticket will impact uh, does not impact anything. It will impact. fact only when we make the changes that is why uh, only when we are moving from server to server right we require valid approvals okay go ahead okay so any others have any questions you can ask me uh, can you give me any other example other example right Yes, yes. Say, for example, do you know in FS double zero we have an option to block the GL? Yes. Okay. So if uh, the GL is no longer in use, or you want the uh, the posting should not happen to that GL, then we place a block. Okay. So you cannot go ahead and uh, do the changes in uh, your production directly. so you have to follow this procedure right from uh, your uh, development till production the change management procedure whatever is in place in your organization that you have to follow okay and also in your vendor masters also will block the vendors right so you cannot directly block the vendor for that also you have to follow the change management uh, procedure each and every organization will have a different change management procedure as i told you uh, some organization will have like development quality and quality to directly to production and some organization will have uh, from development to quality and uh, from uh, quality to pre production and uh, to production so it again depends on organization to organization okay any doubts Uh, Gandhar, but in real time, in real time, that uh, we have an option that we can block the GLs in production in real time. Through FFID, you can do, but uh, that is only 
that will be used only during emergency case so i'll tell you what is an ffid ffid is nothing but whenever you want to make a emergency change in the production right so you will use ffid firefighter id access okay with the firefighter id you can do without firefighter id you can't do so normally it is suggested to follow change management procedure only sometimes what happens there is a month end you have to do some changes uh, in this month only you cannot uh, keep it for next month and uh, in that case you will have to go with firefighter id access and then you will have to do it that's how it works yeah firefighter that will be done by the consultant but uh, uh, i just want to know like uh, user also can do it correct like uh, uh, like user any end user can do it yes user also can raise a firefighter id access and he can also do that okay with the but approval usually, of the manager yeah 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 usually it will be done by uh, it team only because user uh, will not bear the risk okay any other questions you have a simple doubt uh, gandhar end users also had the options to block the gl or block the vendor master only through firefighter access only through firefighter access uh, they can block the to end user in the sense only mdm team master data management team okay only they have the access to touch the master data end user can do other things not blocking the gls okay blocking gls everything uh, will be under mdm team they can uh, do it even even your functional consultant cannot do that there is a team called mdm master data management team they can do that okay because so it means uh, end user can only do that reporting uh, it means uh, it is a de disabled mode in function consultant or end user people are unable no, no, to no, see no. that even one. they will have there is something called as there is something called as a segregation of duty okay through ffid anyone can make the changes but there is something called as segregation of duty not everyone can perform every task see you as a consultant you cannot do the postings okay as a end user they cannot uh, fix the problems right so everyone will have their segregation of duty like for example master data management team will have a option to uh, edit master data or disable the master data only master data team can do that even functional consultant cannot do that that's how it works we call it as segregation of duty okay so that means the end user uh, okay. can't do any block so, in uh, uh, level and uh, even though like the start of account level uh, blocking correct no they they can't block they can't block okay no 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 they can't block okay thank you see this is the approval process wherein uh, once uh, the value goes to the approver either he can uh, reject or he can approve he'll have two options here okay either he can uh, do the approval or reject it if he rejects it then you can't proceed with the change management if he approves it only the change will be approved okay so this is how uh, it works in real time so this was uh, entirely about uh, support project so some other day we can, will uh, connect and we'll do about uh, implementation project so for now whatever i did right this is entirely about the support project if you have any queries you can ask me you can also ping me separately in uh, telegram before we wind up if you have any questions you can ask me and also i have provided you this document you can go through and uh, there is a web link wherein you can uh, create your own uh, service now id with that you can uh, create whatever i showed you right today it is not working maybe in a uh, few days it might work any questions uh, ganesh do you want to ask Before something 
Gantha, can you provide that link? Ah, uh, it is in uh, uh, this one only. Service now, uh, whatever the PDF I okay. show, uh, shared, right? Okay. And okay. that only the link. Got and it. also, uh, a detailed step is there. How to log into service now? Everything is there in that uh, PDF file only. Okay. Okay, then uh, if no questions, we'll wind up. Thanks everyone for uh, joining uh, this session. If you have any queries, you can again reach out to me personally. Yeah, thank you so much, Ganda, for your time. Thank you, people. Yeah, bye. Bye, everyone.